Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's start talking about the daily warming cycle of the Earth's atmosphere. Every morning when the sun rises, the sun rays come in, begin to warm the atmosphere, reaches a certain maximum temperature during the day, typically in the afternoon or late afternoon, and then begins to cool down, and that cooling continues throughout the night for it to start over again the very next morning. So to understand that process, we need to go back to the basic concept of where that energy comes from. Well, the energy obviously comes from the sun. We have about 1,361 watts per square meter that reaches the Earth on a continual basis. Now, the reason why we have constant in quotation marks is because it's not actually a constant. It varies quite a bit depending upon where the Earth is in its orbit. The Earth's orbit is not a circle, it's an ellipse, and therefore sometimes the Earth is closer to the Sun, sometimes it's farther away. So there is a variation of about 100 watts per square meter throughout the year, depending upon where the Earth is. But on average, it's 1,361 watts per square meter. 48% of that reaches the Earth's surface and warms it up. And then that heat then gets re-put into the atmosphere, into space in various ways. There are four main ways in which the heat that was absorbed by the surface makes it either back into space or goes into the atmosphere. Of the 48%, 25%, or I actually should say of the 100%, 48% is absorbed by the Earth, 25% of the 100%, or 340 watts per square meter, a little bit over half of what reaches the surface of the Earth goes back in the atmosphere via evaporation. In other words, the energy reaches the oceans, reaches the lakes and the rivers and so forth, evaporates the water, and that causes energy to rise up into the atmosphere. It doesn't have much of an effect in heating the lower portion of the troposphere of the atmosphere here, so it rises up and doesn't have a big factor in keeping the Earth warm. It actually cools the Earth is a cooling mechanism, so it takes that energy away from the surface of the Earth. Another 5% is through convection. As the air molecules hit the warm surface of the Earth, they pick up the energy from the surface. As they pick up the energy, they heat up. As they heat up, they expand, and the expanding air then rises up because it's less dense and rises up into the atmosphere, again taking heat away from the surface. A third way is energy that escapes through the radiation window. There's a window there that's roughly between 7 micrometers and 14 micrometers where a lot of the energy that goes into the atmosphere continues through the atmosphere unhindered, reaches space, about 12% or 163 watts per square meter, simply goes back into space and doesn't warm up the world or the atmosphere. The remaining 5.5% or so, somewhere between 5 to 6%, gets absorbed by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. That's about 75 watts per square meter out of the 1361 watts per square meter that reaches the Earth. About 75 watts per square meter, 5.5%, is actually absorbed by the atmosphere, or we should maybe more correctly say the lower atmosphere. In the first 200 meters of atmosphere from the surface, almost all of that 75 watts per square meter is actually absorbed, and that's what keeps the Earth nice and warm. That's what gives us a nice, comfortable temperature. Now, as the atmosphere continues to absorb, the temperature begins to go up. But as the temperature begins to go up, this energy begins to migrate itself slowly through a various of mechanisms, and we'll talk about those mechanisms later, that slowly makes it up into the atmosphere, and then eventually will again reach space and emit that energy into space. It's the delay factor, which is what we call the greenhouse effect, that makes it nice and warm near the surface of the Earth. So now we're, going to under, now we're going to use our understanding of the heat capacity of the atmosphere and the mechanism by which the heat is being reabsorbed into the atmosphere and then how that heat travels through the atmosphere. We're going to try to make sense out of what we actually observe and see if it actually matches our model of how the Earth's atmosphere keeps us warm. So this is where it starts. We're going to do a couple more videos on how this mechanism works and then you can see how every day the Earth warms up to a certain temperature, and then when the amount of heat influx becomes less, and the heat radiation, that's usually pretty well close to a constant, takes the heat back away from the surface of the Earth, you can see then the temperature rises and falls, and rises and falls to that daily mechanism, and we'll see how that exactly works. That's how it's done.